This video is to clear the good name of dinosaurs. There are some common misconceptions I see quite regularly about dinosaurs, and some of them are harmless, but others kind of go right to the core of what is a dinosaur. So I'm going to take a few minutes of your time, lay out the facts for you so you don't make these same mistakes. The first misconception is that all dinosaurs live together. You see battles of Stegosaurus and Tyrannosaurus Rex when, in reality, they never saw each other. In fact, Tyrannosaurus Rex is closer to us in history than it is to the Stegosaurus, which means there were already Stegosaurus fossils when the Tyrannosaurus Rex was walking the Earth. And speaking of fossils, dinosaur fossils aren't actually dinosaur bones. Bones are made of organic material which biodegraded long, long millions of years ago. What you see left over is kind of like a mold, like a clay mold. Once the bone material degraded, all kinds of little sediment and rock and basically filled in that little cavity and then over time, like a kiln, it baked it into dinosaur fossils, which we see today. One of the most common misconception is that fossil fuels come from dinosaurs. Actually, fossil fuels came from plankton, not dinosaurs. It's theoretically possible that a dinosaur could have fallen into the ocean, slid out to sea into the very deepest depths of the ocean, and then became a part of the oil making process, but it's not very likely. So in actuality, all our cars are being fueled by plankton, not dead dinosaurs. A lot of animals are mistaken for dinosaurs when in actuality, they are not dinosaurs. Alligators and crocodiles are not dinosaurs. Lizards, even the humongous Komodo dragons, are also still not dinosaurs, even though they're still pretty cool. Turtles and tortoises, not dinosaurs. Dimetrodons, I actually didn't know this at first. When I was a kid, I remember this was one of the cooler dinosaurs to me, but it's actually closer to a mammal than a dinosaur or a reptile. Also, there were no aquatic dinosaurs at all. Mosasaurus and Plesiosaurus were marine reptiles, but they were not dinosaurs. Pterosaurs and pterodactyls were not dinosaurs, they were flying reptiles. The only flying dinosaurs are birds. And speaking of birds, dinosaurs were not selected by nature for extinction. I'm sure everybody remembers the famous phrase from Ian Malcolm in Jurassic Park, but even if he's referring to the non-avian dinosaurs, uh, a giant six mile wide space rock from outer space slammed into the earth and killed them. I don't know what part of extraterrestrial object you would consider natural, but I don't think that's nature's way of saying the dinosaurs were not cutting it. In fact, dinosaurs were highly adaptive. They even managed to survive through this huge impact as birds, which means they not only survived that unnatural disaster, but they also continued to adapt. I mean, they can swim and they can fly. They naturally occur on every continent on this earth, which is not even something humans managed. So remember, the next time you call someone a dinosaur, you're giving them a compliment. So that's it for today. I'm keeping it short and sweet. Thank you for watching. Don't forget to stomp on the like button. Follow up with subscribe if you haven't already. And have a great one.